Mr. Mira, I'm looking for coastal protection solutions with nature-based elements. Have you seen any? I really didn't know there were so many ways to help coastal protection. Seriously? <laughs> Pet mosquito. And now I'm here to find mangroves. Let me see if I can find any from here. What is that? Let's go and find out what it is. Let's go. What do we have? over here. Oh my goodness, another experiment. Uh. Guess the nature-based elements used in coastal protection. So, which five of these can help in coastal protection? Of course I know. Crocodile and the fish. Okay, that's not the answer, but those are the only things I can identify here. So what am I supposed to do? I need to go and get people. Hey, episode one, not enough. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, no. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, ladies. Don't be scared, don't be scared. I want to ask you a very simple question. Come on. Hey! Hey, you two! I just wanted to play a game with you. If you can answer this question, guess the nature-based elements used in coastal prote... Hello? Nobody wants to help a poor guy like me. Why? But never mind. If you don't come to me, I will take the experiment to you. Let's go. That way. Bonk. Hello, young man. Do you know anything about coastal protection? I suppose if he knows Tai Chi, he can Kung Fu up some intelligent answer. Uh, I think it has something to do with protecting Singapore from the future sea level rise, right? I do know about coastal protection. Now, of these nine pictures here, can you tell me which one potentially can help to fight sea level rise? I think mangroves, definitely. Mangoes? Mangroves, number two. Oh! Mangroves! Because I know it can help to cushion the impact of the waves. Okay, so smart, right? Tai Chi Master will know the answer. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, continue. Goodbye. Oh, look, look. Good morning, madam. Kachi, kachi, kachi. Uh, <laughs> take a look at these nine pictures. Which one of these do you think can potentially help fight sea level rise? I think this rocky structure with plants grown on it. This one? Really? Why? I think rock walls can be sturdy uh, against the waves. And if we plant uh, trees and uh, plants on them, they will be more effective. Wow. You really have thought this through, huh? Maybe she works at PUB. Have a good day, madam. Goodbye. Okay, let's go get more serious answers. Serious answers. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wrong way, wrong way. Ah. Oh. Coastal protection, we must do. If we don't do it, then we're all in trouble. Trouble. What? Oh. Uh, you think that I'm, uh, I'm busk? No, 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 no. Thank you, but no. <laughs> um, maybe you can help me answer a question because both of you look very natural. Huh? Can you tell me, out of the nine pictures here, which one is a nature-based element used in coastal protection? Um, I think it's number four. The monstera plant, maybe. If you have a lot, it might be helpful. Monster plant. Monstera plant. This looks like a good cushion. Cushion? Okay, what about this? Or this, or this. Uh, uh. Some of these are found under the sea. Hmm? So I think it can't really help if the waves come. Well, that's not exactly right. Seagrass may be underwater, but it can help to reduce the energy of the wave and minimize soil erosion. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you and how do you know? I'm Tik Tian. I work at PUB's Coastal Protection Department. One, two. Three PUB friends. Wow, now I might actually have more PUB friends than actual friends, you know. Oh, so you are Sarah and Chinliet's friend. Yes, that's right. Perfect timing. Okay, so then you can help me answer the question. Which of these images are nature-based elements used in coastal protection? They are the mangroves, seagrass, coral reefs, coastal forests, and these hybrid rock revetment structures. Coral reefs also can. Yes, in fact, we're exploring all the way that Mother Nature can play a role in coastal protection, including those soft, 
hard and hybrid solutions. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've learned so much about hard and soft engineering. But until now, uh, I've yet to see any nature-based elements, you know. We have one right here in Balea Creek. Where? Here? Yes, the mangroves. The mangoes. Mangroves. Okay, let's go see them. Thank you very much, father and son. We'll see you next time. Let's go see the mangoes. The mangroves. Mangoes. Oh, wow, look. Giant mangrove. No, that's a fallen tree. Well, what is this, man? Here, you're looking at one of the natural elements that Singapore is exploring for coastal protection. Research has shown that mangrove can reduce wave energy by up to 75%. Huh? All these mushy, bushy marshes can stop waves. Huh? Mangroves, waves, energy. Huh? Hi, yo! <laughs> yes, mangrove can reduce the impact from wave. However, there's much more we need to learn about them. Hence, we cannot research to understand the effectiveness of mangrove for coastal protection and its long-term viability. So if we've already figured all of this out, why don't we just grow lots and lots of mangroves all over the place? Why do we still need to build revetments and sea walls like the ones I saw at Vivo City? Good question. Your internship has taught you well. Come, let me show you. Okay, let's go. My internship has taught me well. Woo! I can't believe I'm on a boat, man! I'm on a boat ride! Boat! Woo! Oh, Jack! Oh! Huh? Hey, shouldn't it be Rose? Boat ride! Boat! Boat! Oh! I'm flying, Dictian! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh, we are now at this crunchy coastal nature park. As you can see, the mangroves are not watertight barrier, so we will still need hard structure to keep out the rising tides. Good point, huh? Why don't you just do both? Exactly. Singapore has been exploring hybrid solutions combine both hard structure and nature elements. Ah, so clever, huh, this Singapore. Look, mm. this is another hybrid structure that we are exploring. Okay. As you can see, the rock revertment is built between the existing mangrove in this area. Mm. The gentle slope of the revertment allows the mangrove seeding to take root naturally between the rocks. So as they grow into trees, they too will help to reduce the speed of the large waves. Um, where exactly are they? Because I don't really see anything. Over there. Oh, there! There, I see a thought over there. <laughs> Oh, I see what you mean. That's what the uh, sloping revetments look like. Oh, but this area of the coast is uh, a bit darker. <laughs> hey, Ken! T-Rex! How did you... What are you doing here? What are you talking about? I'm here to explain more about hybrid solutions. Hey, your sleep? Your sleep? Uh, are you still working as a PUB intern? Hey, that is episode 2 lah. Uh, so I decided to sign up and work full-time. Full-time PUB intern. Mm. You sure you can or not? Can one. So where were we? Ah yes, as we were explaining, coastal protections need strong barriers to keep up seawater, like seawalls, dikes, and rock revertments. But nature-based elements can complement these structures too. Other than mangroves, seagrass meadows, coral reefs, and coastal forests can potentially reduce wave energy too. So... Actually, that was exactly what I was going to say. Oh. Who's this guy? Oh, uh, uh, this is Ken. I know he can be a bit over sometimes, but just ignore him. Uh. It's, it's okay. You'll get used to it, uh. no problem. Don't worry about it. Smart guy. Strange, but... Smart. Captain, up ahead, let's go! Of course, go ahead, uh. then go stun. Uh. <laughs> to bluff me only. Uh. He didn't just appear, you all made him appear. The one thing I don't know, trying to be funny, right? What? To be honest, I don't know him, and I don't know how he got on the boat. Never seen him before. That was such a great experience, man. Having a view of the mangroves from the sea. Oh, the, the boat ride was amazing. It's fantastic. Well, I nearly... I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine? Absolutely. Boom. By the way, where did your friend go? I don't know. Just ignore him. Like, he's always disappearing like this. Isn't this where we were earlier? And these were the sloping revetments. Yes, that's right. It's really great that we're exploring so many coastal protection solutions, you know. But how do we know what places need to be protected? Well, for that, we're developing the Coastal Inland Flood Model. This model will simulate where the flood will occur and how severe it will be as a storm comes and as sea level rise. And in the future, it will help us to evaluate whether coastal protection solutions in a certain area are effective or not. Mm. Come, let's go. Now I know more than you can. 
Sometimes got crocodile. Yes, There's a lot yes. of wildlife here, right? Hey, let's see if we can see some birds over here. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! They're very responsive, man. Cuckoo! 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 Hey, what the bird? Ken! Yes, you called? Cuckoo! Is it when you join PUB full-time, suddenly you have special powers? Appear, disappear, appear, disappear. How did you change so fast? And who are these people? These are my friends. La. They are members of a nature group in Singapore. We are bird spotting. Oh look, it's a bird! <laughs> well, actually, it's nothing. Oh yeah, speaking of nature group, we will also be consulting various nature groups in Singapore as we develop our coastal protection solutions so we can enhance our coastal environment and preserve our biodiversity where possible. Wow, that's very serious. Huh? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey, Ken, that's a good... Ken. Ken, one! Hey, you see? How this fella always like that, no disappearing. Hey, what's your special PUB power? <laughs> I didn't realise there were so many mangroves already protecting the coast of Singapore. I suppose nature really does play a part in coastal protection. Huh? Is there anything that we can do to help? Of course, there is. PUB is taking a collaborative approach when it comes to coastal protection. We want to engage the different stakeholders and the general public through community discussion and dialogue. We want to get your views and feedback on our proposed plans. Views and feedback? Yes. You want my views and feedback? Yes. Okay, I have lots of ideas for coastal protection. Can you hold this for me? Let me lend me your back. Yes. Thank you. Babe, do you hear about that? You're going to know. Oh my god, you know. This is super juicy news. Seriously, like, like, you cannot believe it. What you know? All over the news. Cannot believe it. I don't know. I'm just right. Like, like you just know about it. Can't believe 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 it. Thank you, everybody. The investigations of Seriously is now complete. Always remember to take your sea level rise seriously. <laughs> More investigations? Okay, I have to go. Another mission awaits me. So long and goodbye. Why? <laughs> you know it's... <laughs> you know it's great that we're exploring so many... What is wrong with Sirius? <laughs> what is seriously wrong? <laughs> okay, one more time.